What an incredible sunrise. Welcome to day 47. This is where we spent the night and uh, we're literally right in the center of Cagliari. Problem is this house right here is some sort of little house. I don't know where it is. They were having a huge party last night. And uh, it didn't stop for a while. So I didn't get a lot of sleep. Which, you know, can't do much about. The city is right here where we're surrounded on. We're just on this little hill that doesn't have much going on. All right, so after this morning, I slept in. Now, we parked up on this hill right here, and uh, it's interesting because it's like the top of the, it's the top of the entire city, okay? And you can't really tell, but it is. And uh, there was like this Laotian family on the other side. Sorry, the bus just got in the way. There's a Laotian family on the other side that's having a big party. Like, they have the only house there. I don't know, it's weird. And... But I can't believe that I could just you could just park right up here in this area. And there's no parking signs, nothing. And there's all kinds of other people up, parked up there now. Um, anyway, so uh, we're going to walk around more of the city and show what we didn't see last night. Uh, I, I know there's more. I don't know how interesting it's going to be. But I'm only going to spend half a day here. And then we're going to get the heck out of here. Um, nothing wrong with Cagliari so far. I actually like it quite a bit. Um... I just don't know if there's much to see. So, now, down here somewhere there's a Roman amphitheater. I don't think I'm going to show it to you because you guys probably are bored and seen enough Roman ruins. I don't even think I'm going to go into it, but I'm going to check it out. So, and that's what we got for so far in the docket. So, we're going to enter this gate now, and this is basically one of the ports of the entrance to the uh, fortifications of the castle. Um, it's kind of been incorporated over the years, a lot of new mixing with old, so I'm not expecting a lot. So hopefully you don't either. This is the Porta Cristina. Starting in the 12th century. So there's a museum up that way. I'm not really interested in it. I'd rather just like, keep exploring. So as you can see, most of the old Fort and Citadel have been incorporated into houses and homes and such. So there really isn't as much history. I mean, there is history here, but it's all kind of generalized uh, so far. So we have our Duomo here. I looked inside. It's okay. Now... I want to show you this though. Basically, kind of not well as maintained as I would have hoped. I'm kind of trying to whisper here. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm kind of uh, not too impressed, but it's peaceful, so that's, a, that's good. So this is really cool. Uh, we just stumbled across this. It's uh, uh, the museum's having a Robert Kappa collection, which is showing his photos of the D-Day invasion on June 6, 1944. Uh, which I've seen these photos online, but I haven't seen them in, in real, you know, in reality. Um, my grandfather was in World War II and fought in France and Germany, but that's all we know. So Robert Kappa, though, is from Hungary, Budapest. And I don't know much more about him, but we're going to find out, hopefully.
So I came down to the Marina District and basically just a bunch of seafood restaurants, people eating, and not much else. This is an old church or plaza. It's, you can't really make it out. There's nothing that says anything about it. Well, there is some, but I'm not going to go through it. I'm not going to read it. Uh, anyway, so I think we're about done with Sardinia. I mean... It's a seaside resort town, almost. It's a nice place, it's very relaxing. I could live here. I just, um, there just isn't much else to see or do as a tourist, I don't think. So I'm gonna go for that Fiore Arancino and then probably the Casada right next to it. Um, I'm not trusting that, that caramel might be pretty good. All right, well, I went with the Fior de Arancino, you can see it right there. Focus the camera back over here now. I went 100% with that instead of Casada. Uh, the server recommended it to me, so I'm gonna give this a shot. Okay, I just took the first bite and it's very, very good. So, uh, good choice. Here at Peter Pan Gelateria. So I'm on this drive to go out to this waterfall. It's like a hike, but I keep seeing these awesome bridges. I'm gonna show you a second one I took a photo of and decided not to drive to but this one is like right there and it's an old railway bridge that is defunct the rail company is not using it at least not that I think of or think so because there's a bunch of weeds growing on the tracks I want to go down there and show you this bridge Okay, and right away we can see, see all those, well, you can't really tell, but from this angle. We'll get down there and show you. But this is the uh, old railway stop here. I have no idea where we're at. I think it's this villa, I can't even read that actually, but Villa Nova Tulo or something. Well, we'll just keep on investigating. So this is kind of cool. These little, these dead bolts here are, I don't know why. But they're right underneath the, looks like the old water well to cool the engine down. Anyway, let's keep going on this bridge. You could change the track here, I guess, manually. Well, just me and the goats and two dogs barking me from way far away. But I love the ivy growing up there. And you can't really get, it's kind of hard to see the scale of this, but it's beautiful. A lot of goat trails around here. So I've come to this small town called Sadali, and it's really small. Like, I don't no idea why there's this white pyramid here, but it, it, they've got it. Anyway, um, so of the restaurants here, this one's got 4.9 stars and a heck of a lot of reviews, and the photos look incredible. So I'm going to eat here for dinner, and let's go find out what it's like. All right, so after a lot of conversation, going back and forth, trying to figure things out, and they, they gave me the menu, and it was like flipped over on the other side, and there's English on this side. Anyway, trying to get protein and some veggies and everything. Anyway, it, like this place looks great, but a lot of stuff's out of season. They don't have it. So I went with this pizza. Fried meatballs, fried zucchini, like a olive oil base, and I think some pesto on there. It's gonna be good, hopefully. We'll find out. So we have this great panoramic view here looking east from pretty much the southeast side of Sardinia. And unfortunately the car is gonna get in the way here a little bit. Here, I'm gonna try my best here to zoom in.
and obviously all those windmills over there too. So I know you guys probably don't want to hear this, but I just discovered another ghost town. I didn't even know it was going to be here. Just literally drove right up on it. And it's not just here. I thought this was actual town. It's going down the hill too. Um, I'm going to flip around and go back to the hill part. Look, there's even a church here that's still... Oh, maybe not as a band... Okay, that one looks like there's somebody living there. That church actually looks pretty good. But everything else is completely bombed out. Okay. Uh, I want to turn around here real quick because there's a lot more of this that we can see down the hill. I don't know how to get there though. Okay, so name, name, say that. Gairo Vecchi? I, I don't know. But Vecchi probably means old. Because Vecchio is old. For the light, before the sun goes down. Yeah, I did not plan on coming here. I just, I thought this was literally a town. I was like, oh, and now it's, and then you just see there's no windows or anything. It's all destroyed. So you can see this, it's just in this big valley here. I don't know anything about the story of this town and why it dried up. But we get to go up some stairs and check it out. There are people who have been in here too, doing the exact same thing. Well, I'll have to find out the history. Granite stairs here. There's no cell, cell phone service anywhere around here. So if we come back tomorrow, I'll have to camp at someplace else because I got another video I want to upload to you guys. Wow. There's not even like tile. There's nothing on the floor. There's not even a pipe there. You see the pipe used to be there, it's gone. Via Marconi, well there's a sign at least for the street name. This might have been a fountain. Oh, they blocked this up. They don't want people going in there. Well, guess what? We dare. Yeah, teenagers and even Red Bull cans and stuff. Spray painting. It's all collapse. You know what I I bet earthquake. I bet earthquake hit this a long time ago, then they evacuated the town just like in Krakow. But Krakow is kind of a special case. Look at this. An old uh, wheel for the grinding of, uh, of either grain or olive oil. Still some paint left. So you can see it goes all the way down the hill. Look at that, all that's abandoned. All that's destroyed right there. More, uh, look at this, more grinding stones. This 
one actually looks like it has some plaster still on it. Oh, that wind. Yeah, as soon as we got up in the mountains, it got cold. <laughs> Uh, all right, we find the name of the church. Church St. Helena. Oh, my son has been doing so. They're whack, whacking the trees. So, they're taking care of it. Even though some of the trees fell down into the under the church. That's kind of a newish stained glass thing up there. New window. Oh, somebody even got married here. Or something happened here. They left the bow. The wind is blowing those, uh, band, those ribbons up there. Let's see if this opens up. I doubt it. Yep. Nope. It's locked. So we're going back down the Via Marconi here, but you see that town over there? I wonder if that's the old town or the, that's the new town that got repositioned over there because of whatever happened over here. Or is that abandoned as well? But the paint, I can tell from here, you can't see in this camera, but I can tell from here that the paint in those buildings is newer. Like they've actually got coats of paint on them. So that's probably a, a a living town still. Don't lean on that. <laughs> it's funny how they have the, the new signs out. Don't, don't lean on this. So whoever's caretaking is the one that's repairing and restoring and just kind of like maintaining it. This must be their workshop. Oh, well, maybe not. Fireplace water that's pretty cool that's a good shot I'm gonna take a photo of this so now we're back at the corner of Via Marconi where we came up through the stairs and now we're at we see Via Mazzini so we're gonna take this down and see what uh, where this goes. This is a three-story. It's all bombed out. It's like they plastered this on and then they painted the sign on it. So just for us to know. <clears throat> This one's all collapsed. Arches, stone arches, really cool. Some of these, uh, oh, I got stairs going up to the second floor too. Still nice. I totally want to go up the stairs like that. I'm more afraid they're going to collapse. You just don't know. <clears throat> this is one of the last places you want to... You don't want to make it at, you know? No one's going to find you for a long, long time. Or at least until the next person like me comes through. Which means maybe we'll find a dead body up here. <laughs> I, we're going to make a circle, I think, and go back down there. The vines growing is pretty cool. Oh, there's a seat. Collapse stairs. There we go. Yep. This place has been abandoned for a while because there's there's so much vegetation that's growing up and through it. So that road what does continue, but no, it just it well it looks like the road does keep going around, but there ain't much left over there. See, so how do we get down? from here. See, I think we can go down that right there. Jetpack. 
Well, I hope you enjoy our mysterious, random, abandoned town. Because I sure did. Okay. Well, all right. Let's go find a place to camp. In case I don't see you, I'll catch you on day 48. Have a good night.